I'm Michelle Reister, and I'm originally from Waukesha, Wisconsin. I grew up in Waukesha, and I've been a cancer survivor now for three years. First and foremost, I'm a Christian. It's through the grace of God that I could make it through the cancer. I'm married to the most spectacular husband ever. We have two twin girls who were six when I had cancer. I had an appointment with my primary, Dubbanda Zandy, and she's like, you know, I really think you should get this lump checked out. So I thought, well, all right, I'll just go in. And, um, and I remember him saying, well, you know, either it's really, really bad or there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. But then they, I got the call and they're like, Michelle, it's really bad. And by the end of it, it was stage 2B invasive ductal breast cancer. I had had cancer before this. This was my second cancer. I had had thyroid cancer in 2004 when my daughters were born. And it's like, oh my goodness. And here I am, you know, a mom, two six-year-olds, and I thought, how are they going to make it through? I have to tell them that their mom's going to lose her hair. I went and got my wig, and my husband and I, we sat him down, and we're like, you know, the medicine that's going to heal mom is also going to make her lose her hair. And I put the wig on, and they looked at me, and they're like, Mom, you're beautiful. Even if your hair doesn't fall, just wear the wig. You look so good. I can't imagine going through this without them. It was, I, here, I'm supposed to support them, and they supported me. My biggest um, advice would be to the parents with kids is to get them involved in your treatments. I'd go in for chemo and I'd bring my girls with me and they could see where I was at and it wasn't this scary place. It was a place filled with people that loved me and that loved them. They would hug them, they'd give them candy and cookies. I mean, they love it at the cancer center. And you know, and I think just getting them involved made it not so scary for them. I think the biggest thing going through treatments is to get involved in something other than yourself. For me, it was, um, taking care of my family, and also at the same time I was going through um, through my recovery, I was also helping to build a library at Fond du Lac Christian School. So putting that library together really just, it, it kept my focus on something beyond myself and beyond every little aches and pains and everything, and it gave me motivation to just keep moving every day.